This is the back page of the chapter 5 and 6 test review. Number 3, let v of t uh, be the velocity in feet per second of skydiver at time t seconds, where t is greater than or equal to 0. After uh, her parachute opens, her velocity satisfies the differential equation. dv over dt is equal to negative 2 times v plus 16 with an initial condition of v sub 0 is equal to negative 50. So part A, use separation of variables to find an expression for v in terms of t, where t is measured in seconds. So we want to write a particular equation. But first, um, we're going to separate the variables. So let's get uh, v on the left side and everything else on the right. So our uh, dependent variable will be the uh, velocity, v, and our independent will be the time, so we have that on the right side. So dv over v plus 16 is equal to negative uh, 2 times dt. So now we can take the integral, uh, take the appropriate integral rule. The left side is simply in the form of 1 over u, so we get natural log of the absolute value of v plus 16. On the right side, we can apply power rule, so negative 2t plus c. Okay. We want to solve for v, so we want to get this v um, by itself. We want to get rid of this natural log in front of it, so we raise both sides with base e, so we can cancel that out. So the left side gives us simply v plus 16. The right side, e to the negative 2t plus c, can be uh, split up into e to the negative 2t times e to the c. This is e to the c is simply a constant. We can pull that in front. So we get v plus 16 is equal to c e to the negative 2t. Uh, now, uh, our independent variable is time. Our dependent is velocity. We do have the initial condition ordered pair. At time 0, the velocity is negative 50. So we can use this information to plug in and solve for c. Negative 50 plugs in for v. 0 plugs in for t. So we get negative 50 plus 16 is equal to c e to the negative 2 times 0. Uh, e to the 0 is simply going to be 1. Negative 50 plus 16 is negative 34. So our c value is negative 34. Now we can plug that into our general equation and solve for v. So v plus 16 is equal to negative 34, e to the negative 2t. Solve for v, we get negative 34e to the negative 2t minus 16. Part b, uh, terminal velocity is defined as the limit of v of t as t approaches infinity. Find the terminal velocity of the skydiver to the nearest foot per second. So we're essentially taking uh, finding the limit of v of t as t approaches infinity. So let's rewrite, uh, let's write the v of t function here. So negative 34 e to the negative 2 t minus 16. Now it's going to be a little bit easier to evaluate if we can um, uh, co uh, convert that to a positive exponent. So I'm going to bring the e to the 2 t down, make it negative 34 e to the 2 t minus 16. Now all we do is plug infinity in for t and see what happens to this expression. So if I plug infinity in for t, I get negative 34 over e to the 2 times infinity minus 16. Now think about this expression. e to the 2 times infinity, this is going to be essentially going to be infinity. So what's negative 34 over infinity going to be? Right? This fraction is going to get smaller and smaller because this denominator keeps increasing. So eventually, this, ex this fraction will just um, eventually go to 0. So then um, 0 minus 16 will simply just be negative 16 feet per second. Okay, Part C, it is safe to land when her speed is 20 feet per second. At what time t does she reach this speed? So um, now this is uh, the reason why this is uh, uh, um, underlined because when speed is 20 feet per second, uh, the, uh, the velocity of the skydiver is always going to be negative because this, the skydiver is always going to be falling. So when you're talking about speed of 20 foot per second, in terms of velocity, this is talking about a velocity of negative 20 feet per second. So skydiver is falling, so the speed of, v of, uh, the speed of 20 feet per second 
in this situation means that velocity is negative 20 feet per second. So we're trying to find what is the time going to be uh, where uh, the velocity will be negative 20. So we go back to our uh, specific uh, velocity equation, which we found from part A, and we simply uh, plug in z uh, negative 20 in for velocity and solve for t. So then v of t is equal to negative, uh, well, we simply replace v of t with negative 20, and we solve for t. So first, we want to get this by itself, so let's add 16 to both sides. We get negative 4 is equal to negative 34 e to the negative 2t. Divide both sides by negative 34, we get 4 over 34 equals e to the negative 2t. Uh, the fraction reduces to be 2 seventeenths. We want to bring the negative 2t down, so we introduce logs to both sides. Now the negative 2t can, can come down in front. This natural log of e simply goes, uh, it's just going to be 1. So we have natural log of 2 seventeenths is equal to negative 2t. We solve for t, so t is equal to negative 1 half, natural log of 2 seventeenths. Plug this in your calculator, and t is equal to 1.07 seconds.